said, they really hitched their wagon to the successes of the homosexual lobby. But what's happening is, as he said, it's a Trojan horse. The TQ are obliterating the rights of every other group, not just women and girls, but also gay men and lesbians. Because if you cannot define sex biologically, you can't protect any category. And so I, I've heard from lesbians who said that their spaces are overrun by men claiming to be lesbians. And if these women don't want to undertake uh, intimate relationships with these gentlemen, then the lesbians are called homophobic. I, I just can't think of anything much more Orwellian than that kind of language. Uh, it, 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 it feels like, it does feel like it cult. There's a, there's, there's a feeling to this. It's suddenly everywhere. You can't, you can't say anything back about it. You can't talk back to them. You can't question it or else you're immediately labeled as, as something deplorable. Um, mm -hmm. I, 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 how, do you, how do you assess that? Well, it is a cult. The cults do a number of very specific things and trans hits every one of them. Um, selling it to vulnerable people, you know, they go in and, and we've seen the autistic kids being pulled into this just hand over fist. The thought stopping devices, the slogans. I was at a school board meeting um, in my district and uh, during a break I was talking to a man who was on the other side of the